So our research is about thermal management of electronics. This is a major problem today, especially with the constant push to make components even smaller and integrated on the same chip. So to extract the heat or the high heat fluxes that you have in these chips become even more of a problem. So what we proposed was to make an electronic chip where the electronics uh, happen at the top of the chip and just near where the electronics flow, where the electrons flow, we have these microfluidic uh, channels underneath. That uh, enables the further miniaturization of electronics as well as the integration of several of these components uh, together. So in order to make a chip where we could extract such high heat fluxes, we had to develop a new fabrication method in the clean room here at EPFL to fabricate chips where we have a network of channels, a three-dimensional network where liquid flows up and down through very tiny channels right at the surface of the chip. And in order to make this, we developed this process where we take a chip and first we etch holes from the top that we are later filling up while we're um, depositing all the metal that is required to conduct the electricity. And then from the back side of the chip, we also etch channels that are used for distributing the liquid over the entire surface of the chip. So inside this setup, we can put a single chip that we fabricated inside the clean room and put it here inside this testing section. We connect it to a flow of liquid. So liquid flows through these tubes until it enters the chip where it goes through there and it cools down the device. And in the meantime, there's an infrared camera that is being used to measure the temperature at the surface of the chip so we can see how well it is actually cooling down the device. So there are several future prospects of this kind of technologies. First, we can look in terms of the electronics. Having this efficient cooling to extract the heat enables us to integrate several components in the same chip. And in terms of cooling, up to now, we've been using a liquid phase cooling. So it could be water, it could be dielectric coolants. And there is a certain limitation of, on the amount of heat fluxes that you can extract using this uh, kind of fluids. And there are several applications where you'd like to extract higher heat fluxes. So there are several prospects for the future of this technology.